What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 19 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Blind Let's Play. We just finished the Battle Royale Dome. We are in Wayla Volcano Park, and uh, this is the Fire Trial. We've got some dusky grass there. Some trainer tips here. Uh, organize my bag and stuff. That's fine. What's going on in this corner? Should I, I shouldn't be on Tauros, I should be on Stoutland, because if there's items hiding around here, I want them. Got an item there, it's a Hyper Potion. None of my Pokemon have that much HP yet, but it's good to, good to know anyway. And we got a trainer battle here. Excellent, excellent. Oh my gosh, a trial goer. She wants to see, actually that is interesting. She's just chilling here, but it's my trial. Well, it's, I guess it's anyone's trial, but she's just a sightseer. She's not, she's not going on a trial. Okay, so we defeat the Sightseer, and um, keep going on our merry little way. All rocks around. Oh, did she say something? The tree of siblings who love, love, love volcanoes. The cave here leads to the top of the volcano, just so you know. So we're going into a cave. Okay. Oh, and we just pop out on another side. Well, that's a missed opportunity. Heal my poker. I didn't. I didn't do anything. <laughs> can cut through the tunnel right there if I want to go back down. Oh, but I can hop these. Ah, wait. No, there was something shiny and green there. <laughs> this is probably the Zygarde cell. We got a charcoal to power up our fire type moves. I don't have any fire type Pokemon, although I'm assuming this is one of the. She's the prettiest of the sisters. And I can go down here. The most charming of the sisters. Okay. And we've got a battle. Whoa! Alright! Yes, okay. So, new Alolan Pokemon. Salandit. Salandit. I don't know what type you are. Could be fire, just because it's a volcano. Could also be ground, because it's a volcano. Could be rock, because it's a volcano. I, I have no reason to predict that it's anything that I might just kill outright with a pluck. Nope, never mind. Killed it outright with a pluck. Oh my god. Uh, okay, let's switch out Peck Peck. Peck Peck is too strong. It's... Damn it! I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to catch that one. Who can I use here? Baby nickel. Baby nickel drop. To fire types. I'm part bug. Yeah, I'm not gonna have like flamethrower or something. I'll use baby nick. And the benefit of baby nick is that fire type Pokemon are going to uh, resist my stab. So I shouldn't be able to beat people up too much. Okay, good. We got another one. So they must be pretty common in this area. I get a little baby Nick flying around. First hit him with the stun spore. Baby Nick's my little catching, my little catching boy. Does have the ember. God. <laughs> did so much damage, but uh, one draining kiss and I should be able to survive another one. Oh my god, that did zero. <laughs> that did so little damage. Sweet scent. Luckily, Salandit is cool. Salandit is so cool. My phone's blown up again. Um, Yeah, Baby Nick's, <laughs> Baby Nick's gonna drop. Let's switch over to Gruffer's. To resist that ember. We're seeing ember, so it could just be that it's just a low level fire move, but it could also be that this is a special type smog. Hold on. Fire? That draining kiss did so little. I'm thinking maybe. He quad resists it. 
Smog is a poison. Is he fire poison? Let's hit him with a bite. What are you? Ah, he poisoned me. I just read a comment earlier that reminded me to not be an idiot and to uh, care for my Pokemon after battle and I can remove that poison. So let's uh, toss a great ball at this guy. He's in the yellow, low half, and uh, paralyzed. So yeah, we got him. We got him. So landed is mine. I I'm going to check this out here. This is a, oh yeah, let's do the care thing. So landed's data added to the Pokedex. He can evolve one time. I'm going to tell you one time. He is. He's poison fire. Toxic lizard Pokemon. Uh, yeah, let's nickname Salandit. We're going to use this fool. Um... Let's name this little guy... Oh, you know what? Because he's a lizard. Let's call him Coop. Name him after... Uh, Coop from the GBA. Where do you want to send Coop to? I want him in my party, to be honest. But who do I want out of my party? I want to evolve all these guys. This is so tough. Let's drop C Badskit because we've seen what C Badskit becomes. Uh, Clompsdale or whatever, the the bigger horse with the giant dreadlocks. So we know it. We already know what he looks like when he evolves. So oh, here we go. We got this sad little rock ruff. Medicine for healing status conditions. So I just hold it on him. Am I supposed to wipe it away? Like this? Yeah, I think so. Wipe away the poison. He likes it. He's happy. I, I think I could feed you a bean or something, but I'm just not going to. He's playing around. He's a happy little guy. Okay, poison gone. Let's keep moving, shall we? We got a trainer battle here. Let's see if he's got any... He said something about a Kadabra, so... Probably nothing too interesting. What's his name? Jim. Yeah, just one Kadabra. Ace Trainer Jim goes down. Uh, and we're gonna keep moving here. We got a TM in the corner. Gotta drop off my Stoutland. Rock Tomb. Cool. And we got another trainer here. The spirit of a hiker. If there's a mountain, I gotta climb it. This guy's like a really in shape hiker. In the previous games, the hikers always looked fat. <laughs> okay, so we just finished a, uh, a really annoying battle. That Rog and Rolla that we. Uh, encountered the very beginning there um, had sand attack and mud slap and just kept lowering my accuracy so we we got through that uh, I'm gonna drop aqua jet and now aqua jet is a much more competitively viable move than the move I'm dropping it for which is sing but the reason I'm doing it is to help me catch Pokemon uh, sing can be really it's really useful to have access to the sleep status when trying to catch mons and uh, there are situations in which I I could very likely defeat Pokemon in, in one hit and I need access to something to increase my chance to catch them. Sleep is the best uh, effect that you can put on someone for it. Uh, they have Fletchlings here. That's cool. That's good to know. I'm going to catch this one too. Never mind. I guess I'm not going to catch it because I O-code the Fletchling because Fletchlings are tiny little weakling birds and I need to get... <laughs> Here we go. We got a second one. Let's try this. Let's try round two. Okay. 
All right, so we catch the Fletchling this time. It involved a lot of switching around. Uh, I wanted to lower his health, and I wanted to put him to sleep, and then blah, blah, blah. So we got Fletchling. Uh, the Talonflame line of evolution from Pokemon X and Y makes its appearance. Uh, we're not going to give it a nickname, and we're going to put it in the box. Because, are you kidding me? We're already... We're chock full of Sun and Moon only exclusives already. And none of them are evolving, despite my best intentions. Had a burn heal. And is this back down to the first sister? Is that where we're at now? Cutest. The cutest of the sisters. Okay. So we walked all the way back down that mountainside. This person heals my Pokemon. That's good. Um, and it wants me to go up there, but I thought I saw a cell earlier. Did I? No? Am I just crazy? No, I did. I, I knew it. I knew it. I'm not crazy. There's a, there's a green flashing... There's a Zygarde cube there. The strange creature was sucked into the Zygarde cube. Let's not judge creatures just because they're a little bit different than you and I. Let's be inclusive of these creatures, huh? Okay, guys, I just ran back down the mountain. I cut, I cut that a little bit because there's there's no... I didn't do anything interesting there. I got into a fight with a... Um, we're in the totem's den now. I got into a fight with a fletchling, and that's it. So I just... Coming back up to the, the peak of the mountain here. And we've got Kiawe. He is a Marowak, and they're students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The Trial of Kiawe. You will find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced at this point. But of course, you will attempt it, right? Of course I will. Trial start! Powers of observation. There will be a dance, and then another. Your task will be to find, di find the difference between the two. Begin. Okay. Watch carefully and memorize this dance. What? What was different from the previous dance? Show me again. I don't know. So the one in the middle turns back around and to the right. I know this is just like, spot the difference, but... So they're all just spinning and then rotating. Uh, the final picture, they're different, for sure. I mean, I can tell that they're different in the final picture, but... Well, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know. What was different from the... Sure, the middle one. But how? Wait, but how, how, but how what? Did I get it right? I, I, the picture is different. That's all I can really tell. Oh, cool. I, it didn't even occur to me to think about this, but this Marowak looks different than a normal Marowak. I was just assuming it was like a, a look thing, but it's a, it's an Alola form thing. So maybe Marowak is part fire now? Um... Let's start off by, if he is part fire, this could be somewhat problematic given that I'm a bug. But this is how we learn. Yeah, he's fire type. He's got flame wheel. Oh my god, he almost O-code me. <laughs> Oof, get me out of there. Uh, let's go into, Lil P will resist him. Baby Nick, man, when I first got him, he was so fun. He was, you know, fast, good typing, but he's 
He's due for a mega. He's due for not a mega. He's due for an evolution. He's uh, he's getting kind of weak here. I should be able to just Oko this guy. I'm assuming. I'm I'm a lot stronger than him. This seems weak for a totem. He doesn't even have the totem boost. Where's him? To where's his totem boost? Coop grew to 19. Oh, that's uh, my Salandit. Yeah. Marak was so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to battle you. Okay. Onward to the second dance. Ugh. Uh, the one on the right has its hand out. The others are holding on to the... Well... Uh, <laughs> the hiker kind of got in the way of this picture here. The one on the right, I think, <laughs> the hiker. But how? <laughs> what? Alola, what is going on with this? So it isn't about the dance, it's just about the photo at the end of it, I, I guess. This is a really weird challenge. These trials, what I'm noticing, the, the similarities and differences between the previous uh, generations. In previous generations, we had the gym. The gym was its own thing with its own battles and... and oh, let's get out of here. Let's not be there anymore. Gruffers, you, you give it a shot. The gym had its own puzzle. You know, like, you remember uh, navigating the warp panels in the Psychic-type gym and... and navigating the moving pathways in steel type gyms and, and some of the other generations there was always some kind of some kind of challenge to to get us to work us through it and i guess that's what the trials are now they're kind of like a gym but then the gym leader isn't it it's kind of the totem pokemon but i'd say it's more the the kahuna that you fight at the end the big kahuna at the end of every round uh, Rockruff wants to to learn Rock Tomb, which is probably stronger than Rock Throw, I think. Rock Throw is what, 50? Rock Tomb is 60. And more accurate. Let's do it. And it lowers speed. Let's do it. Get out of here, Rock Throw. I don't need you. You're a fool if you dance, and a fool if you just look on. What? Everyone's a fool? My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer that he simply had to battle you. <laughs> Onward to the final dance. So we got the Marowak taking the picture of a spear thrower, a hold upper, and a robot dance person. Salandit. Or like a bigger Salandit. The totem Pokemon, the black Pokemon, the new Pokemon, or the suspicious Pokemon. Uh, let's not... You know, I don't want to judge him. I don't, I don't know that he's suspicious. He could be a very good... He's new. I know he's new. And I don't know that he's a totem Pokemon. And let's not bring race into this. Let's honestly... Let's just... But how? That was just spectacular. Come, totem Pokemon. Sala! So, is this an evolution of Salandit? Or is that just Salandit? Salazzle! So this is what Salandit becomes. And he's gonna... Boost? Special defense boost. Well, now, Baby Nick, um, Baby Nick, you're just going to get annihilated if you stay in here. This is an evolved Pokemon here. But actually, a lot of these Mons, uh, I have Dragon Rage on Koop. Doesn't that do 40 damage? Uh, yeah, so Koop, you're going to handle business here. If you've got Dragon Rage... He's going for Flame Burst here. I should be able to tank that. Oh my god, that does so much damage. And he calls in his ally. Oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have switched in hard switched on this. He's got a Salandit of his own. 
But uh, my goal here is going to be first and foremost to Dragon Rage the Salazzle. So that's going to be a huge chunk of damage on him. He's going to outspeed me though. I know that. Actually, they both probably will. Torment. So I... Which one's Torment? I can't use moves that he has. Now I'm taunted. Good. I did, I did manage to get off the Dragon Rage. Huge damage. Two hit KO. And I took no damage in the process there. Uh, I can't move it, use it twice in a row. That's what that does differently. Um, okay, let's get a let's get a switch in here. I'm feeling a little pee. No, that's that'll make it too easy. Let's go peck peck here. Coop did a great job, but unfortunately with the torment going on. Another flame burst. What is this? Two hit KO on me? Just about. Vino shock. Oh my god, these guys are Packing heat! Packing some serious heat here. Let's try and finish off Salazzle if possible. Oh, he's gonna outspeed me. So Peck Peck did not take that take on that challenge very well. Rockruff will resist the fire. I know I could just send in Lil P. The goal here is to try and get some use out of my other friends here. So Gruffers comes in. Dropping a Rock Tomb on the Salazzle will be good too, to slow it down a little bit. As long as I can survive one attack from it, and as long as I can outspeed the Salandit. He's actually got Toxic. So the Vino Shock, which was already neutral on Gruffers, is going to hit really hard. I actually missed my 95 accuracy attack. I hate that about Rock type. There is no... I, I don't think there exists a 100% accurate physical Rock type move. <sighs> Venom Drench. That's going to lower my defenses super effective super much <laughs> no it's speed attack and special attack i guess but i still managed to get the salazzle totem salazzle down for massive exp gain coop grows to 20 baby nick grows to 23 bug and grows to 24 there's some significant exp there if this takes me out which i think it will I actually am going to send in Lil P here for a very specific reason, and that is that Lil P has an amulet coin on him, and I would really like to uh, get a little extra poke yen from this battle here. And we're down to just the weak little Salandit left, so let's just uh, finish it off with a super effective Scald. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're not inside the store. All right. Defeated Totem Salazzle. Spectacular. With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances, and you defeated the Totem Pokemon with such ease. The Totem Pokemon was carrying Firium Z. It's yours. He just gave it to the air, and then I'll just absorb it into my floating hands. You know, considering they just keep giving me these every single round, you'd think I would be using them, but I haven't been. <laughs> so you do like an X, then you kind of do like a thing. And then, or something like that, I think. So what do we got? We can give that to Salandit. Uh, something about champions taking these quick ball. He's giving me some quick balls. Uh, now I can ride Charizard. That's cool. You will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. So fly. So, in lieu of HMs, now they're just giving us ride pager stuff. This is really cool, because I had always said before that I thought HMs were a mistake. I thought they were a design mistake in these games. 
Oh, this is so cool. Ah, so we finally have access to fly. This is going to help a lot. Is there anything going on around back here? Any hidden items? Looks like nay. Let's go back down here and heal up our Pokemon. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna heal us up. Um, what else do we have to do here? I'm not sure that it's anything. Uh, we're gonna give Salandit a Firium. Swing. We're gonna give. I guess we can give a Phytumium into, uh, into Peck Peck. Nothing wrong with that. I think we get a Grassium, but I don't have a Grass-type Pokemon. Al although, I do have Stun Spore on one of my Mons. So let's, uh, let's finish this off by using Charizard's Glide. And, uh, we can go- oh my goodness. Where can we go? Royal Avenue? Pinola Town, Route 5, Hia Hia City. Really, I think I just want to go to, um, I want to fly back down to the bottom here. I, I've fully healed up. Oh, that's cool. That's just so cool. And it's all activated really easily with the Y button here. So we got, we got everything, all of our out of battle uses. So now we should be able to go through here, right? Fire MZ, congratulations on completing the trial. So, uh, there you have it, guys. Episode 19 complete, and we have uh, completed the Walla Walla Volcano trial. Con let's join us next time as we continue on to Captain Mallow's trial, uh, rocking out in Route 8, and uh, the lush jungle, I guess, is what it says is coming up next. So, uh, as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.